Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video I'm going to explain all these blocks in just 6 minutes. If you did not check out the last video, make sure to do so and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start in 3, 2, 1, let's go. We're, we'll start with operators, adds two values together here. This one subtracts two values, uh, this one multiplies two values and this one divides two values. Very simple function. Moving on, this picks a random number in a certain range. Let's say I do 3 to 20. It's going to give me a random number in between 3 and 20. 15, 9, 12. Keeps changing every time. Then we've got um, this. And if a, um, this number is greater than this number over here, then the condition is true. If this number is less than this number here, then the condition is true. This one, if both values are equal, then it's true. And um, we could use these in the if um, bits we learn in control, if both uh, of these conditions are true, then if the entire condition is true, this one, if one of the two is true, or both of them, then, then the whole condition is true. Not, it basically switches it from true to false, and then we've got joining um, words, join apple banana, turns into apple banana, it's called string concentration, it's the fancy word for it. Um, letter um, of apple, it, it, it basically tells you um, and the letter that's in that position. The second letter of apple is P here, for example. Length of apple is how many um, letters are in that word. So in this case, it's five. And then if the word contains a certain letter, then the condition will be true. If it doesn't, it's false. Then we've got modulo, and this is basically the remainder. And let's say I do 65 divided by uh, six. The remainder is five. Here we go with 10 remainder five. And then we've got rounding rounds, um, a decimal to the nearest whole number. And let's do uh, 8.2, it's going to round it to 8. There we go. And this block basically does uh, mathematical functions that you can do on calculators, um, but I'm not going to explain any of those right now. Um, making a variable, um, when you create a variable, you can choose it for one sprite or all the sprites. I'm going to do um, that te this is called test, and then this calls it a variable, it's a, a source of data. It, a certain value um, per variable, so if you want two values, you can create another variable, and then this basically sets it. So let's say I set it to three, as you can see up there, test turns into three. Then if I change test by one, it's going to add one onto the test, so that's four. The most programmers would usually do set test, and then they do this, and then they do test plus one, and that also works. So uh, doing that will make it five. And then we've got a uh, show variable, it will show the variable and hide variable um, when you cannot see it. And I'm going to hide it right now. We're going to move on to lists. Creating a list, um, let's call this test again. And a list is basically like a lot of variables. Um, it, it's like a shopping list, you have multiple items in it. So let's say we want to add something to the list. So I'm going to add the number one. Um, and then I'm going to add the number two and so on. Um, I'm not going to do too many, I think four will do. And then this basically deletes an item of the list. So let's say I want to delete the, um, the last item of the list. Delete four of test. It's going to delete, as you can see there. And this is the length of how many um, items are in the list. And it's this block over here. Delete all. It's going to delete all of the items. So I'm not going to do that right now. Insert thing. It's going to... Um, let's say I do num um, number 1 at 1, it's going to insert the number 1 at 1 and everything is going to be shifted down. So there we go, um, as you can see 2 uh, is item 3 because it's all been shifted. And then replacing is an item, it, um, we can replace, let's say we replace item number 2 with the word 2, as you can see the word there changes. So that basically erases it and then we've got item, um, this is the item of the list I did number so if I let's say I do three then the item number is four as you can see here so it's the other way round and then I've already explained um, the length then if the test contains um, a certain word in it then the condition is true here we can show list and hide list again now I'm gonna do a quick demonstration about lists um, we can use everything we've learned so far so let's say I add a random number from 1 to 10 onto the list so I've added the uh, number 2, I want to add the x position of the sprite, and I want to add the direction of the sprite, uh, so we do that, and I want to add the size of the sprite, and I want to 
are the sine 30. So, um, sine 30. Okay, we've got five values here. And let's say I want to calculate the average of all those values. Well, we need to add all five values. And this can take some time. And then we've got to divide the final result by five because there are five um, items in that list. So, and then I need to um, do this. So we got item one, and, and then we got item two, and I just need to keep doing this. We could probably create a function for it, it might be a bit quicker, uh, but I think this is the best way to explain this. So um, we've got our five items here, nearly finished, there we go, and we would divide it everything by five. So the average of all those numbers in that list, if I can click it, is 38.5. So if those numbers add together, divide by five is 38.5. So that is how you use data and operators. Um, very, very useful, and the time is about to end. So um, we've got five seconds. I'm just going to stop the timer. That is all those blocks explaining six minutes. In the next video, we'll be covering my blocks, and we'll also be looking at these extensions. Um, some of them, probably not all of them. So uh, make sure to check that one out when it comes out. And that is going to be it for today's video of the Scratch Coding class. So thank you so much for watching this video of the scratch coding class if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time goodbye